So today we're gonna do like a bootleg. <coughs> so today we're gonna do like a, a bootleg hip hop style design T-shirt. Uh, that's the kind of. Oh, so today we're gonna do like a hip hop bootleg style T-shirt design. I mean, like you know, the kind of real tacky uh, t 90s look. Fucking Jesus. So today we're gonna do like a 90s bootleg hip hop style T-shirt design. Oh, fucking hell, man. What's the story here on here for another tutorial? I'm uh, recording this one from home while the sun is absolutely splitting the stones outside and I'm kinda thinking I wanna go drink some cans instead of my old cup on tape. So today we're gonna do like a 90s style hip hop design. I mean like bootleg t-shirt design. The kind of thing you might've seen at a market in Spain in the 90s if your parents ever dragged you on holidays down to south of Spain. You know, something that has a uh, no legit back and behind it's just like someone just decided to print them up in their in their gaff you know to make a, a quick couple of euro kind of flat colors like blended into like a black fabric t-shirt uh, nothing too serious here you know like you're gonna want to keep your design fundamentals in mind but like there's no real rules here you can really just kind of get loose and uh, make something real cheesy and kind of gas looking at the same time so uh, yeah we may as well just get right into this and see how we get on Right, so to get cracking, we're gonna open Photoshop and we're gonna make an artboard, A3 artboard. Uh, it's 4961 by 3508 pixels at 300 dpi. That's kind of just usually the starting point to go for, for like merch designs. And uh, we're gonna start getting our pictures together. Now I've just decided uh, with the help of one of my friends, uh, came up with the idea to do like a Gordon Ramsay style, like hip hop t-shirt, you know? Just like kind of really playing on like the character of the lad, like cause he is a bit of a legend, all right. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna like gather a few pictures. I got like three pictures of Gordon here, and uh, I'm just going in and selecting uh, the background, deleting them, and just throwing them into our artboard. And you can try, like as you see, I like kind of mirror flipped one there. Um, it's not really too like you. You probably wouldn't want to be doing that with like every design, like especially with photographs. Things can look kind of weird when they're like mirror flipped, but like this is kind of rough and ready, so we're, we're definitely gonna be all right. Uh, again, here I've just thrown in another face because I wanted a bit more of a serious face on like the front figure, you know. And then grabbing a soft eraser, I'm just gonna like just uh, erase the uh, the bottom parts of our image of our images in the background and at the front as well. Here you can see I'm playing with my levels and uh, hue and saturation just to try get all of the images of Gordon looking more or less the same. You know, we want them all to so they don't look like different photos you know we want these all to like blend together into the one design so now that i'm happy with my figures i'm going to uh go in and just grab my backgrounds which i want this to kind of be like you know those kind of like rest in peace style like uh hip-hop like t-shirts you know like as i said rest in peace tupac that kind of thing it'll show him in like heaven so i've picked this real candy flossy kind of colored like cloud background and I'm just also kind of throwing in some uh, lightning because I kind of had the idea of going for like two sides of Gordon's personality, you know, like him like screaming and roaring at people and then also the real kind of like funny, nice side. Like the theme of a lot of the images we're going to use again is going to be playing on that kind of like hip hop kind of scene kind of vibe of like, especially the 90s ones, of you know, like the gangster rap and like flashing your money and uh, you know that sort of thing so I decided just to grab a few like you know pound notes and then some gold coins and throw them in and again more playing on the uh, the heaven and hell side of Gordon I'm just throwing some flames flames on the bo bottom with some lighten blend modes to kind of just mash them into the uh, the image going back and just playing again here with just some of the uh, the levels and uh, brightness and contrast so yeah I tried like play with it, a few ideas of like diamonds and stuff but I uh, figured I'll just go with the gold coins and like the pound notes you know kinda, it works well for this and then to really accentuate the urban side um, or the, the kind of urban attitude of like a hip-hop design I just went for a chain link fence you know and just threw that in kind of played with the shadow a bit to give it a bit more depth and um, you don't really want to be throwing drop shadow on too much of your designs because it can look really tacky but like as I said this is meant to look tacky so like we're all right in this case now I picked like a military style font, you know, like a, a stencil font, um, just for like the, the top text. 
wrote it out on the top and then played with my warp and uh, used lower arc to kind of give it that like nice arching effect on the top and then um, for the kitchen nightmares I just decided to use uh, one of the most like classic fonts you know like uh, brush script it's timeless a lot of people hate it but like it is a nice font and it's really good and like you know Americana style design so I figured like with this I may as well just grab it because it would have been used in the 90s so it does keep that kind of aesthetic I'm gonna airbrush that up and give it like a chromey kind of look uh, in a little bit but for the actual letter forms I figured that was kind of cool to go with so then I just went into warp and uh, chose like flag you know to kind of give it that like flowing kind of look now I'm adding some more things in, I figured since it's Gordon Ramsay, you know, you'd want to play on the fact that he is a chef, so I just threw an old hamburger in on the front. Um, again, I'm kind of like messing around with my colours, especially like hue and saturation, you can kind of like use your eye to like blend it all in together so it all looks like it should be part of the same image if you get me. Then again, to play on the, the whole chef side of things, I was like, ah shit, will I get, a, will I get an old knife and throw that in? And then I started trying to like, you know, uh, play around with like the cross knives behind the burger or something kind of like a hardcore style, which could have been could have been good in hindsight. But I opted not to do that. I just like threw one of the blades up at the top behind the figures and um, got some like blood splatter PNG, put that over the top, uh, used multiply to kind of like blend the blood into the blade and then uh, selected my the layer of the blade which can, with control and clicking the thumbnail in your layers panel. Selected, inverse and deleted so it's just the blood on that blade. I think it works really well for these kind of designs if, if your figure and your character that you're working the design for has like, you know, a big personality that you can play off, you know. Just think about like what makes them the character that they are like you know what what brings out their personality like what, what's their job you know what what band are they in you know that kind of thing and just really work on stuff that especially like humor you want to bring a bit of humor into designs like this because like they are funny designs that they, they're not serious graphic design by any stretch you know what i mean like so do work a bit of like humor in as you can see here again i'm just kind of like harshening up my drop shadow on my different layers you do want to keep all your all your um images on different layers until we get to the end when we start like you know flattening it and bringing in different effects and, f and stuff from the filter gallery so I flattened my images there and then kind of like played with the hue and saturation again and uh, just made it really vibrant because you know they do you do want them to be like kind of like weird colors now we're going to move on to the uh, the typography so I've like rasterized my Gordon Ramsay um, typography there at the top and I'm gonna like go in and I'm gonna put a white inverted to black then I'm gonna put a white center stroke on it and then rasterize that and just select all the black uh, internal parts and delete them out so I've got two layers I've got one which is the outline of Gordon Ramsay and another that's the actual letters so now I've got my diamond PNG and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna like uh, duplicate that and kind of spin it around just so it looks like it's you haven't copied and pasted like one image for each letter uh, luckily it's only going to be small amounts like coming through in this but like you do want to kind of make sure that you've got each image is like filling each individual letter now we're gonna select or merge all of them we're gonna select the bottom typography and uh, select inverse and delete so it's just the image left in the shape of Gordon Ramsay now same thing I'm gonna get my gold uh, PNG layer here and I'm throwing it on the top and I'm selecting my outline Gordon Ramsay layer then selecting the inverse and deleting the gold so as you can see it's already like gave it this nice little like um, tacky kind of hip-hop vibe you know like no plugins necessary all I did then is my outline layer on the top I put like a small kind of gold stroke on it and then played with a little bit of internal shadow to give it a bit more depth and uh, drop shadow on the bottom layer over the uh, the image and it, as you can see it really like pops out I duplicated it a bit just to give it a little bit more of a 3D kind of feel and then played with my hue and saturation until I got like a, a bit of a, a colour I was happy with. Like obnoxious is what we want here, you know, like really over the top colours. Now for my Kitchen Nightmares layer, I rasterized the uh, the type. It's always good to duplicate and keep like one of them as a font. But I've rasterized that and then I've gone into my um, layer style. I've gone to inner bevel, then a smooth technique for my bevel. 
uh, drop the depth down just so it's nice and soft and uh, then gone into inner shadow then I've given it a small inner shadow which is like a white color so it's not like a dark shadow it's almost like an inner glow but we're doing that in shadow because we want to go for another little effect here we're going to inner glow and we're making a bright pink I'm putting the choke down all the way down to like zero and I've just like bumped up the size to about like 90 so you can really see it gives it that like airbrush kind of effect now we got the satin which is going to give it like a little bit more of like a, a like solid feel I'm just like putting the distance about like 100 size about 50 with overlay as the blend mode and then I'm going to into my gradients go into the gradient layer and just do like a kind of a cold kind of turquoise into like a black and as you can see that's like giving it this 3d kind of like um, airbrush sort of effect I've then rasterized that and I'm kind of playing with it like stretching it and uh, bringing up the hue and saturation again to make it crazy stupid colors like really 90 90s and then uh, put a drop shadow on it to kind of like kind of mash it into like the bottom layer then of the uh, the image artwork so now it's all just about like kind of playing with like how you want the composition to look like you know I'm just opting to feather in like the edges because we want this to be like really kind of like old school it's like you'll probably print this like D DTG which is direct to garment like you know so it's not going to be screen printed but uh you can kind of like play around with it give it a bit of like hue and saturation again now it's really just kind of it, it's just putting the finishing touches on it now really because i'm figuring this is ignorant enough as it is so i'm going in just grabbing a little lens flare and uh, i'm firing that down just putting it over the tops of uh the corner of the the lettering if you know what i mean just to give it that little bit of a shine i do like rasterize all my uh, lens flare layers and then drop them down to about 70 or 80 uh, opacity just so they're not like too kind in your face should be able to find a nice like lens flare somewhere on uh, on google uh, for free in a png now i've gone into posterize just kind of drops down to about four or five to give it that like proper like old school print look yeah now uh, just for a final little pass i've like merged everything onto one layer which gives you more control then of your like kind of like colors and stuff but uh, you want to keep it like on a on a transparent layer above your background layer and all I've done is like gone in put some like monochromatic noise on it at about like 13 remember that our, our port here is like A3 so your noise values are going to be quite low you know so I put it on like 13 monochromatic um, Gaussian noise and uh, that just kind of gives it the final little touch that we are looking for and it looks class So yeah, I think I've done enough talking today. Um, that was like a real quick uh, run through of like a bootleg hip hop style design. A uh, very fun kind of style to work in. As long as you you have a, a bit of a grasp of photo bashing, you'll have no problem with this. Um, I've had people asking me about stock uh, images. Uh, for this one, I just used like Adobe and Shutterstock. You're better off making your own stock images where you can. But for this, this was just for a friend. This wasn't a commission, it was just a bit of crack. There's good ones like Pexels and um, Unsplash, which I'll link as well down in the description. They're handy kind of to use, but like you won't get as many like PNGs. You'll have to do a lot of cutting out yourself, but uh, still cool crack to play through. So yeah, thanks Mill for watching that. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Get at me on Instagram, uh, get at me on Facebook, whatever. Uh, check out Spearhead Media online. If you if you want to chat about design work, just uh, drop me a message and I can try to help you out if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, give us now a like, and uh, take care. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to go drink some cans in that beautiful sunlight.